another day, another fun, another learning. Hi, grade 5. I am Teacher Jamea, your teacher in art. Before we start in our session, let us give some minute to thank our creator and feel his presence. present as I call your name. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start with the girls. Abigail. Present, ma'am. Anna. Is Anna here? Yes, ma'am. Alright, Anna is here. Okay, next is Alexa. Present, ma'am. Okay, Beverly. Present. Cyril. Present, ma'am. Next is Harl. Present, ma'am. Okay, the girls are complete. That's good. Let's see if boys are also complete. Let's start with Aaron. Present, ma'am. Brandon. Present. Briggs. Present, ma'am. Calix. Present. Jacob. 
Present. Jerome. Present. Parents. Present, ma'am. And last but not the least, Zach, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good class. There is no also absent in boys, so that means no one is absent. So you are you all deserve five claps. So give your hi, give yourselves five claps, five claps for that. So one, two, three, four, five. Very good. So before we proceed to our first activity for today, I have a video here and I'm going to play it in my screen and then all of you all of us should follow. Uh, I'm sure you're you're going to enjoy this. So let's start. I'm a live alert awake and to see ya stick. I'm a live alert awake and to see ya stick. Yes, ma'am. That's good to hear. So, I have here a set of features. All you need to do is guess the correct word using the features as close. Please raise your hand before answer, alright? Okay. For number one, what is the answer? Yes, I will. Balance, ma'am. That is right. Very good. Number two. Yes, Harl. You're raising your hand. Color, ma'am. Very good. For number three. Shape, ma'am. Very good, Keisha. Number four. Face, ma'am. Very good, Anna. The answer is space. Okay, next number. Yes, Beverly, what is it? Ma'am, the answer is repetition. Very good. Yeah. For the last number, who wants the answer? Abigail, you're raising your hand. Three-dimensional object. That is correct. Very good, grade 5. It seems that all of you are active. So now, we have recalled our previous discussion in last meeting. Let's see if you can identify all the features, whether they are in 3D form or not. But first, all of you please open your camera. So, if the object in the pictures is in 3D, clap your hands twice, twice, one, two, and if, and if it's not, stomp your foot, yeah, like that. Is my instruction clear, grade 5? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's begin with the first picture. Is it 3D or not? Okay, very good. The feature is in 3D form. So, one, two. Okay, next. What is the answer? Very good. Next feature. Is it 3D or not? It is 3D. So, one, two. Very good. For the four, for number four, what is the answer? It's also 3D. So, one, two. That's right. And for number five, 
What is the answer? It is not 3D, so you're going to. What the answer? Stamp it. And for the last feature, is it 3D or not? It also 3D. It also not 3D, right? So the answer is stamp it. So well done, grade five. Class, what have you noticed from the pictures presented? Mom, there are similarities. And what are those? There are in 3D form teacher. Anything else? They are 3D objects that are made with paper. They are called paper art. That is correct. Some 3D objects are created with papers. papers. Very good. So, before we begin, we proceed to our discussion. Can someone read our objective for today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Abigail, you may read it. Tips. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to attain to A. Demonstrate fundamental construction skills in making a three-dimensional craft that expresses balance artistic design and repeated vibration of decoration and colors. B. Construct 3D craft using primary and secondary colors, geometric shapes, space and repetition of colors to show balance of the structures and shape. C. Apply knowledge of colors, shapes and balance in creating paper speeds. Thank you, Abigail. So, class, do you know what is the difference between a 2D and a 3D art? Yes, Jerome. The difference between a 2D and 3D is that 3D objects have, have height, width, and depth, while 2D objects only have height and width. Well said. As we all know, paper is widely used in art. What are the other uses of art again? Or rather, paper. paper. Papers can use the drawing, painting, and printing, ma'am. Yes, that's right. Do you think we can use them to create 3D arts? Yes, ma'am. Of course, we can create various types of paper art, such as paper mosaic, paper quilling, paper ops, origami, or paper cut designs. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY necklace. I will make an artwork using papers. This is it called paper beads. Take a look at this photo. What do you see? I see different kinds of beads, ma'am. What are beads made of? Ma'am, they are made of colorful papers. That's correct. So class, I'm going to play a video and let us watch it to overview on how to make paper beads.
where did paper beads originated? Hmm? No one? Well, it's, it is originated in England. Making paper beads is a traditional craft that goes back in England at least as far as the Victorian age. The women in, of the house would gather to make beads from scrap of wool paper that we rolled in the knitting needles. They would like this. They would then polish the beads with beeswax and sting them onto long pieces of yarn. The long strand of beads then became rope dividers for their bones. This practice was then revived in the 1920s and 30s for jewelry making. So they they create paper beads to the uh, jewelry and Victorian women used newspaper newsprint and other printed papers to craft smaller beads. They would apply a perform on the beads to create scented paper beads. Since perfume were a bit expensive during those times, scented paper beads were a way for them to smell good without having to worry about using up their perfume bottle. Aside from making room dividers, also they use paper beads to create beaded curtains. So, paper beads is just like this. So, they put perfume in this and then they wear it so that smell is yeah like that creating paper beads in the modern era are pretty much as the same except except that we can easily obtain a variety of papers like rice paper construction paper and a lot more the various type of paper that we now use clear clearly adds character the texture to the end of product. We are also in a time where there are, are plenty of tools to work with paper beads like hand rolling tools and toothpick just like this. In the Philippines, various beaders are creating paper beads to help the local folks in generating income. So, this also aware of serious waste management problem. They recycle the paper to to be sold. Um, it can bring back money, you know. You can create different shape in making paper beads. I have a video here that showed different types of paper beads. So let's watch it.
So, based on the video what we watch there, there are seven types of paper beads. Number one is cube-shaped beads. Next is peanut-shaped beads. Number three is cone-shaped beads. Next is vicon shaped beads. There is also barrel-shaped barrel beads, hourglass-shaped beads, and truncated corn care bead corn shape beads so the nice thing about this paper crap is that you that you do not have to have any skills at all to create a custom piece of jewelry if you can cut paper roll it and glue it you can become a jewelry designer in very lifetime in a very little time you just about any paper can be used the most fun you can have is to use those paper scraps from other projects to create one-of-a-kind bids rather than throwing them away. You can create something for yourself as well as, well as gifts. You can you could for very little money create jewelry to set as well. So you can create paper bids in your free time and you can make it as a gift to your parents or maybe to your friends. It will more appreciated because because you made it with love let's see if we can make our own paper beads did you prepare all the materials i asked you yesterday yes mom all right then bring them out what are the materials i asked you to bring again we will need colorful papers a pair of scissors glue ruler pen stick and a yarn teacher colored paper, scissor, and then glue, and then ruler, pen, and a stick. So, but first, open your camera, and what are the four things you need to remember when the teacher is having a demonstration? Listen carefully to the teacher. Avoid distracting other classmates and teacher, him, himself, herself. Be observant and take down important notes. Always follow the instruction of the teacher. Very good, class. I'll expect you to follow all those rules, alright? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will begin at the demonstration now. Listen carefully to what I say and observe what I do because we will creating paper bits together and then later you'll... You repeat it, okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to start now. So, step one. Cut the paper at the... Cut the paper in triangular. You can use ruler so that your line is vertical. Put some glue at the tip of the triangle. Sorry. And roll the bead lightly, tightly. Salamat sa mga class na ang ating ngayon. Ang talagang Yes. Continue to pray so that you can make our bracelet or 
Another bead using different shape or templates you had cut from the different colored papers or whatever you want. It's your choice. Oops. Oh, I forgot to add glue. Yeah. So now we're going to put this in yarn. Making Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roll it out. So you can have moisturizer. 
at the yarn. Mom. Okay, so here is my finished product. So how about you? Let me see. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? So let us try to look at the artwork created. May I have someone from the class to present their artwork? Yes, Alexa, what can you say about yours? My artwork has a lot of colorful beads. Correct. What art principle does it fall under? It falls under the art principle color, teacher. And the colors used are? The colors used are blue, red, green, orange, and yellow. According to, color, to the color wheel, we have two to categorize a color. What are they again? On the color wheel, they have two categories, which are the primary colors and the secondary colors. Very good. Now, tell me what colors belong to the primary category and the secondary colors. The necklace has blue, red, and yellow beads that long to the primary group and for the orange and green beads, they fall under the secondary group. Excellent, grade 5. You have discerned the colors well known. Let us, let us see if they have harmony. Do colors complement each other? Or does a color of two overlap the other's colors? Color use complement each other. By looking at the colors of the beads, what do you feel or what at or what atmosphere do you feel when looking into the to, into its color? Looking at the colored beads, they feel like they emit festive vibes. What about the shapes? Are they the same? They are not the same, teacher. There are beads that are big compared to the others, small unlike the rest, and, and elongated and circular. Very good observation. If I hold 
the next place like this, what can you see about the placement of the beads? The placement of the beads show repetition teacher. Good repetition in terms of? For an instance, there is a repetition in color, shape, and distance. It follows a certain pattern. Splendid explanation. And let us see if the beads look crumb on the stain, does it? No, ma'am. The beads are evenly distributed. The necklace was balanced on use of paper beads. And there are even spaces in between a pattern of paper beads teacher that's right for our next activity class just answer the following questions write your answer to our google classroom and for the number three give at least one of other of those colors because there are so many tertiary colors right so just give at least one
you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what is the answer for number one? The primary colors are blue, red, and yellow, ma'am. Okay, very good. Number two? Orange, violet, and green are the secondary colors, ma'am. Very good. And for number three? Orange, red, red, violet, yellow, green. Very good. And for number four to six, what is it? Paper can also use the drawing, painting, and printing, ma'am. Very good. And for the last number, what is the answer? Paper mosaic, paper quilling, paper cut design, and origami, ma'am. Very good, class. So, let us recall the steps in creating paper beads. You only have 10 minutes to do it and show it here in our class. Just follow the step and open your camera so I can see you doing it. I'm just here waiting. You may begin class.
you're all done. Okay, may I see you work? Wow, excellent work, grade 5. Let's move on to our last activity for today. Explain your own understanding from 3D art and send it your answer in our chat box. So, I'll wait for your answer class. Are you done? 
Okay. I'm going to read only five answers because if I'm going to read it all, it will take long. So, for Cyril answers, she said, 3D means three-dimensional, something that has width, height, and depth, or length. So, that's correct. That's, that's the meaning in 3D. Very good, Cyril. So, next is, our physical environment is 3D dimensional and we move around in 3D every day. Okay, that's a deep understanding, huh? Very good, Abigail. Okay, next. Three dimensional shapes are solid shapes that have three dimensions, including length, depth, and width. These are shapes that occupy space. This means that we can touch and feel them. That's right. Very good, Jerome. Okay, next. A 3D shape has three dimensions. Therefore, unlike a 2D shape, it's not flat. 3D shapes are measured by length, width, and depth. That's right. Oh, again. Very good, Jacob. 3D or 3-dimensional shape has length, height, and width. As its dimension. Okay, very good, class. Some of the answers are the same, but very good understanding. So, for your assignment class, make your own necklace, just like this, using paper beads. Your work should have a team and then wear it to our next meeting. So, today is Friday, so you can have, you, all, you, you have two days to work on that. Am I clear, grade 5? Yes, ma'am. So, before we end this class, let's have a closing prayer. Let's, see, let's feel his presence again through this video. Our most kind and loving Father, we thank you once again for this humble opportunity To come together in your holy name. Thank you for being with us through the entirety of this class. We thank you for the knowledge you bestowed upon us. and the wisdom that we will continue to harbor. May today's lesson be a stepping tone towards achieving our dream. Thank you, God, for giving us a passionate teacher who will lead us to a brighter future. Lord, continue to bless and protect our loved ones through the safety of our home. Give each one of us sound and healthy for us to see each other again. Lastly, I humbly ask you, O oh Lord, please heal the world. Save us, O oh Jesus. All of this we ask in the name of our Je of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot grade 5. Have a great week.
week and class. Goodbye!